Hi, John Rhodes here and welcome back. Big hello to all my subscribers and for those of you that have just found the channel, why not hit the little button now and subscribe? Warm welcome too to those of you joining us from Endo Practice. This will actually be the last article that I'm going to do for the journal as we move over to their exciting new publication called Clinical Dentistry. But stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be many more interesting cases in the pipeline. In this video presentation, I'm looking at the non-surgical retreatment of a maxillary premolar. The tooth was quite complex with three separate root canals. There was also a separated instrument in the distobuccal root that I had to retrieve. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the preoperative radiograph. The technical quality of the previous root treatment is poor. There are at least two root canals but both of them haven't been instrumented and obturated. An inverted image gives another impression of the existing root canal treatment. In this case, a small volume CBCT scan was exposed and it clearly showed that the tooth had three root canals and there appeared to be a foreign object at the apex of the distobuccal root. Here is another slice from the same CBCT and you can see the fractured instrument in the distobuccal canal and an uninstrumented MB canal. The preoperative view shows the previous access cavity and failing restoration with caries. The restoration was removed using a long tapered diamond burr and excess GP and caries with an LN tungsten carbide burr. I am now starting to remove the gutter perca from the coronal part of the root canals using a Gates Glidden number no. 2. As always, I'm using copious irrigation with 3% sodium hypochlorite throughout the preparation. A size 30 headstrom file can be used to retrieve GP from deeper in the root canal system. I'm now using an electronic apex locator to assess the working length in the palatal and mesiobuccal canals. After establishing a glide path with a size 10 hand file, I then used a primary Wave 1 Gold instrument to taper the palatal and mesiobuccal canals. I used the Wave 1 Gold instrument to prepare down to the level of the fractured instrument and here you can see that piece of instrument sitting at the apex of the distobuccal canal. To 
To remove pieces of fractured instrument from deep within the root canal system, you need to make sure there is enough space coronally for the piece to be retrieved. In this case, I created a landing stage using the Wave 1 Gold primary instrument. A fine ultrasonic tip needs to be applied to the lateral aspect of the piece of file to vibrate it so that it can be loosened. Here I'm using an Action ET25 tip which I've pre-bent to reach the piece of instrument in the apex of the distobuckle canal. By pre-bending the instrument I'm going to avoid removing dentine coronally. Looking down the microscope at high magnification I could see that the piece of fractured file had loosened nicely. I then used 3% sodium hypochlorite to irrigate the canal and at this point the piece of fractured instrument was flushed. I've used a freeze frame to highlight the moment at which it was retrieved. The fragment looked quite large on the radiograph but was actually rather small when it was removed and this is often the case. It's back to the electronic apex locator to confirm the working length of the distobuckle canal. The canal was prepared with the Wave 1 Gold primary instrument. Irrigation was carried out with 3% sodium hypochlorite and an irisafe ultrasonic tip. After final irrigation with 3% sodium hypochlorite, the canals were dried with sterile paper points and then obturated using a vertically compacted gutter perca technique. The access cavity and tooth were completely restored using composite. Here I've placed a paladent matrix, tooth separator and wedge to get a good interproximal contact. The flowable bulk fill composite SDR was used across the pulp floor to fill the majority of the space. The top was then restored using a light cured composite. Here you can see the final restoration before removal of the rubber dam. The preoperative radiograph showing the poorly filled root canal system and CBCT which clearly showed the fractured file and the missed MB canal. The final result shows a good coronal apical seal. The root canals are all filled and the adaptation of the composite restoration is good. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because there's going to be many more interesting cases in the pipeline. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And above all, enjoy your endo.